going to semi-apologize that I keep doing this because it feels a bit current affairs even for me, but I just can't pass up this opportunity. This graph that you're having a look at right now is a graph that the world has been watching for the last three months. Um, this is actually some reasonably, at this point, old historical data. You can see uh, it ends uh, in late February because uh, this part of the world was kind of ahead of the curve, quite literally speaking, uh, compared to the rest of everyone. Um, Guangdong is uh, the largest province in China. It's the New South Wales of China, if you like, except for the fact that um, uh, it's got more than the population of Australia in it by a significant factor. These are the actual, in blue, reported cases of COVID-19 recorded in this region that they published for the world and that the um, WHO was watching so very carefully. That's what the blue numbers are, an actual you know, record of. This is how many people we've got in hospitals and all the rest. Anyone want to suggest what those red lines are? They're not actual data, they're something else. Anyone want to take a stab? No? A projection. It's a model. Um, and in particular, and I'd love you to write this down because we will come back to this later. It's a particular kind of model. It's called a logistic function. That's a fancy sounding name. Um, it's fancy and different to what you've heard of before because it's not like graphs that we're used to graphing. Think about the last two weeks and what we had a look at in that topic. We looked at polynomials. We looked at absolute value. We looked at... Um, uh, we didn't look at trig functions actually, but then we looked at exponentials and logs. Remember that? Now, we know what exponentials are like. They sort of get faster and faster and faster. We know what logs are like. They get slower and slower and slower. But this, this is kind of, um, well, if I zoom back out, it's kind of like the weird child of an exponential and a log function. Can you see why? Have a look at the beginning. You can see it sort of starts off quite shallow, yeah? And then it starts to pick up pace, it starts to pick up pace, and then at some particular point, it starts to slow down again. Okay, now I have a question for you. Uh, and it's got two parts. Why does it do that? Why does it start off so slow? Like the number of cases, why does it increase but it's not very fast to begin with? This is just a practical question. Any, any thoughts, Max? Um, it's like, so you need like square one with one, mm -hmm. two with four, mm -hmm. three with nine, and it just goes higher. Okay, okay, so, so at the beginning, right, we've got small numbers of people who have this disease, so they can't spread it to many people, yeah? But as you get more, four, nine, etc., they have the capacity to spread further, people travel, all the rest. So that's why it picks up pace, right? So this is the sort of exponential part of the graph, as it were, okay? But then at a certain point, things, the trend changes, right? Um, there are still getting more and more cases. They're never going to decrease. They're only going to increase. This is total number. It's cumulative. Um, but it starts to slow down. Anyone want to tell me why this happens? It's a different reason altogether. Why does it slow? Someone else. Have a think. This has been happening all around the world. We're, we're hoping this is what happens, right, Sophie? Um, kind of because there are more cases, there are more things kind of put in place, I think. Right, okay, so we kind of um, all watch this number skyrocketing and we all collectively panic a little bit because high numbers actually make us sit up and pay attention. Um, also, uh, things like the interventions we put in place, like social distancing, shutting things down, all of them take a while to actually take effect, right? And then suddenly, hopefully, we hope that things actually slow down. And that's what this logistic model sort of captures, that at a certain point it goes from this exponential version of things to a logarithmic version of things, at least we hope, okay? Now here's the thing I want to get across to you, right? What have we been looking at so far? We've been looking at stationary points, which come from, like, how do you find a stationary point? What information or knowledge do we use to find stationary points? We used UI on DX, the first derivative, and set it equal to zero. Now I want you to have a look at this. Are there any stationary points on this particular curve? Have a look. No, the, the answer is no, there are no stationary points because it's moving all the time. There's always increase. It might be slow, it might be fast, but it's always increasing. Okay? Um, so there are no stationary points, and we have language actually to explain why. I want you to think back to Tuesday's lesson. In Tuesday's lesson, we talked about positive gradients, negative gradients, and when you've got zero gradients. Come on through. We said, we had, we had language for this, technical language, right? We said it was increasing if the gradient was positive. And you can look and you can see, it's always increasing. Do you agree with that? Um, monotonically increasing was the fancy word we used, okay? So in this case, like where it switches over, I'm gonna, and maybe on your graph, if you've done a rough version of this, okay? I want you to find the spot on your graph where it sort of 
switches over from that exponential behavior to that logarithmic behavior. It'll be somewhere in the middle. I mean, on mine, I'd estimate it's somewhere around, let's pick a big fat color, somewhere around here is my estimate. If you just had a look at the part to the left, it looks pretty exponential. And then the part to the right, it's pretty logarithmic. Do you agree? I'm not looking for a change that the derivative will tell me. I'm looking for how's the derivative changing, right? It's always increasing, but are you increasing fast or are you increasing slow? That's the question I'm asking for, okay? Now, I need to move this out of the way so I can write some stuff. 